Yeah, welcome back. So we do have a lot of sunshine out there right now. That was the story through most of the day as soon as we got rid of the fog. Temperatures also on their way up with the sunshine. Even though we did have a light northerly wind through most of the day, we did reach the lower 70s. We're at 70 right now in Scotts Bluff. That temperature is really going to start to rise as soon as we get that southerly or westerly wind. That'll happen as we approach and then uh, start the weekend. Other temperatures around the region, so Alliance at 65, Gordon at 64, Shattern at 67, and and Kimball, one of the cool spots, 63 degrees right now. Here's a look at the wind. Uh, pretty light, only around 0 to 10 miles per hour. Still from a northerly or a little bit of a northeasterly direction. A little bit of a warm front right here. So uh, as you make your way from Cheyenne and points off to the west, we do have a westerly wind. And that'll be the start of our warmer and drier air working its way in. Uh, weather alert. So we do have a high wind warning that is in effect from 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Friday. That is for Wheatland, Chugwater, and the higher elevations just off to the west of those cities with a watch for the same time frame between Cheyenne and Laramie. So watch out traveling, especially along I-80, I-25 in southeastern Wyoming as we go through the day tomorrow. The winds are going to pick up ahead of our next system. Mainly clear skies as of right now for most of us. You have to make your way into central and eastern Nebraska before we run into any cloud cover, cooler air. And also, we do have some rain showers out in that direction. The last remnant showers on the cool side of this system that is working its way into the Midwest and Northeast. High pressure in charge of our forecast. That's going to be the story as we go through the next couple of days. We'll get some sunshine and a strong southerly wind that will warm us up. So let's take a look at the sky cast. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies during the overnight, starting off tomorrow into the lower 40s and high temperatures tomorrow into the upper 70s and lower 80s, still with the mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. But we do have that nice, strong southwesterly wind that warms us up. So for Saturday morning, we might be some fog starting off near 50 degrees and then some sunshine to start off your Saturday, more clouds later on to the day. And we do have a very slight chance of some showers, especially into our eastern counties as you make your way into the east. Evening. So here's what it looks like on the wide map. Still under the cool air, that northerly flow for the next couple of hours. Then this high takes over. Do have that little bit of a warm front making its way through for Friday and for the first part of Saturday. There's your nice warm up with that southerly wind. That cold front will spark off some moisture. Most of it will miss our forecast area. It'll mainly be into portions of central and eastern Nebraska. Then another high pressure system really warms us up and gives us sunshine Monday and most of Tuesday. So that jet stream finally making its way off to the north this weekend. Hot, hot, the hot or warm air starts to get a little closer to us. Still have that chance of showers. Still have a good amount of wind we'll say breezy to windy out there and uh, that's our weather forecast as we make our way through the weekend that cool air is finally starting to exit into the midwest and the northeast here's the extended forecast at 81 tomorrow 83 with breezy conditions on saturday lots of sunshine until saturday evening then we have that slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms lasting through the day on sunday sunday a little cooler high of 70 then Monday into the first part of the day on Tuesday, lots of sunshine, low to mid 70s. Storm chances back in here Tuesday night. And then for Wednesday and Thursday, slight chances of moisture also. But we'll stay into the upper 70s and lower 80s by this time next week. Angel? Thanks, Justin. To the pandemic now and the new numbers once considered unreal. The U.S. has reached 1 million COVID deaths and the virus is not finished yet. We have more on this story. More than two years after the first cases of coronavirus appeared, America